In school, we learn about the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But how can we prove that that's true? If you take a square like this, and you put triangles that are the same size in the square, then you can have you can make it so that you have two spots left that are open and don't have triangles on them. And then let's say that this short side right here is A, and this one is B, and then the hypotenuse is C, so the long side. If you, and then if, and down here it has A2, so then to get the area of a square, you do length times width. So the length is A, and then the width is A also. So then you just do A times A, which is A squared. So let's find the, the next triangle, uh, the next square right here. So this line right here is B, and so is this one, B. So then you do B times B, because that's length times width, and then that is B squared. So then for these two areas, you have A and B. So now we're missing the C squared. So then for that one, you do, you put the triangles in, on the corners. So let me do that real fast. So then when you do that, you get a shape in the middle. That's a square, right? So all of the, the um, lines that face in the square are all hypotenuses, so they're all C. And so then to get the length, uh, to get the area, you do the length times the width. And for this one, it is C times C. So then you get C squared. And so because all of the triangles are of the same size, you can tell that the area showing that it, this makes it true. So, and I learned this today in my sophomore math class in college. And it really helped me out. Again, uh, something that they, I think they should teach in schools. I think it might confuse some people, but for all of us visual learners who maybe even not visual learners, but people who get helped by uh, visual stuff. This is a big help, I think. And I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed the three minutes that this is. And thanks for watching.